Good evening, everyone. I think I'm good to start. Oh, because I was, I've been waiting, expecting most of the students to, to come on board. I think maybe I'm waiting for students. I think I'm disturbing some of people, some of our students. So I might probably take permission before I come on video like this again. This will be the last time I will do a video like this again i want to try to be doing it but i realize that most students don't they don't have time for it so it will be a waste of time for me to be coming on board weekend waiting for students that paid me for this so so i'll do tonight but from tonight if the student does not request for it i won't do it again can you hear me Somebody said you can hear me. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me? This one is not okay. Uh, you, uh, the sister that just answered, yeah, you were here. I know you were here in time. You were with me since since nine it's 9 p.m but it has just been like that since so i can't be waiting no i can't be waiting so we'll, we'll talk in the class we'll try to talk in the class i think i'll wait till the students agree on on it so i'll be able to know how many that will be interested so i won't i won't be disturbing myself because i'm just running down to do the video it does not if i'm doing let me just go on public on facebook i know i'm doing this now let's go so uh i gave i gave uh some tests two days ago in the class and i sent the answers today if you have any question you want me to explain i want you to just signify write the number i hope i ask her to prepare because this should be an interaction not just something if i want to teach online I will tell you I want to teach, but revision is something just to be able to help some of the tests you're doing or some questions you have that are that maybe I answered in the class or you know and you want to have opportunity to ask me direct. That is why I come on board here. So if you're watching me from Instagram, uh, YouTube, thank you for joining and. Uh, the test in the class, please. I want you, if you have any of the tests in the class, let me the one we did oh, two days ago that I marked today. So, if you have any number that you think you want me to explain or the one you feel that you need explanation, I want you to just drop the number, just write the number number five, number seven, or number 10, or any number so that I can just explain them to us. Because tonight we are just going to use 30 minutes. We'll, we'll, Somebody is requesting for video. What is requesting for video? Okay. Let me see. Okay. Let me see. Requesting for video. Let me see. For video. Sister, you are requesting for video. So you can accept if you. So if nothing, okay. Okay, so if you have any question from the class, what we did in the class, let me just, just pick point those questions and let me take time to explain. Uh, the purpose of having this uh, forum is to be able to explain those tests we, uh, you had in the class that are not so clear. So if you want me to explain them, uh, you can pick point those numbers. I will just be able to explain better on how, why those, answers are like that and um and this remember that those tests we did in the class are those likely tests in exam so this avenue is just like trying to up to explain the, the the likely test in exam so it's a forum whereby okay number 20 number five and number three yeah uh, number 20 if number 20 the test we did number 20 very good 
Number 20 says, overestimating driving skills and taking risk are personal characteristics that makes accidents more likely to occur. More likely to occur. They said, A, among the old people. B, young people. C, professional people. You say, overestimate, overestimating driving skill is more among the young people. For example, the young people at the age of 17 to 29, when they are driving, you realize that they show skill in driving and they, they, that is likely to invite accidents. So in exam, when you are hacks, the, over, uh, uh, the, the, the range of age that invites more accidents happens to be the young people because they overestimate their ability, they take risks that are not called for. So that is number five. Let me take number five because the questions are rolling in. Number five. Number five says, number five of the question says, on a conventional road, a pedestrian permits stead to walk on the road. Yes. Why? Because there's a conventional road that is of 90. So pedestrians are permitted to use the right side of the road or the, the right shoulder or if there's a passable way remember that conventional some most of the conventional road too has a pedestrian crossing on it that is why the speed is reduced and it's related closer to the built-up area because it's the one that connects into the built-up area so yes when there's no hard shoulder or a passable path so when there's no passable path for them they have right to walk on the road of the conventional road remember that on motorway dual carriageway, highway for automobile, pedestrian must not be found on those three highway. But on this highway that is called conventional road, yes. Number, uh, number three, number three says, if you, please, any number that I have answered, you don't need to ask me again. Uh, number three, if you have had a class B license for over one year, and now you obtain a class A2 license. Remember, A2 license is a motorcycle of a bigger grade. Now, is it mandatory to carry an L plate on the motorcycle? On the motorcycle is no. Since you've gotten B, you don't need to carry the L page. L, L placard. Again, you don't need it. Don't need it. That is for that. Number from Osa. Oh, okay. Osa. Uh, number six. Question for number six. Number six says, a traffic officer permitted to make optical and or optical and acoustic signal, optical and acoustic signal. Yes, they are permitted to make the optical and acoustic signals, optical signal signals which you can see, acoustic are signals you can hear. So there are two. I told us when I was teaching sign that police has two way of expressing their intention on the roadway. Optical sign, their harm. Audible sign, which are acoustic sign, their weasel. Po, po, po. That's it. So number that is that is number number six. Number eight. Number eight says the tunnel effect produced by speed makes the driver only capable of seeing the center. What is tunnel effect? Is that a kind of effect that you feel when you are over speeding? When you are speeding, what happens here is that everything around you are like going faster. You are not able to capture the picture on your side, but you are focusing, you are having a picture of the center. So uh, you'll be having picture of the center, not the side. That is number eight. Now the GT number, number five, number five, I've explained number five before. Number 19, number 19, number 19 says, on interurban road, that is road outside town, where must bicycle and two-wheel scooters position themselves in order to turn left? They have to be on the right side. I always tell us they must leave the road on the right side of the road. They have to initiate their they are, they are from outside the road because they are two wheels vehicle. They are not balanced. Number, number 19, number 20, number 20. Number 20, see, I've, I've explained number 20 before. I said the young people, overestimation of ability, the young people, young people. 
the young people. Please, if you are getting it, I want you to thump up if you're getting it. So if I miss any of the number, please recall the number. Number four, somebody requested for number four. Number four, number four says, the right indicator is used to indicate, is used to indicate a lateral movement to the right. Lateral. Lateral means side movement. Side movement to the right. So trafficator, the job is to tell the other users on the roadway that you are intending to make a lateral movement. Lateral movement means a sideways movement. Sideways movement. So number 17, number 17 of the class test. Class test. Number 17 says, what safety accessories are mandatory for a private car? Mandatory for a private car. Very good. If you look at uh, the objective, A says one warning triangle and a reflective jacket. One warning triangle, no. You must have two warning triangle as the law. This question comes out in exam and is trickish. You must always have two warning triangle. Why? Because if your car spoils on two-way road, you will be able to place one at the front and one behind. Good. So the answer will be two warning triangle and a reflective jacket is compulsory. Fire extinguisher is not compulsory. Only in Nigeria, that is compulsory. Here, it's not compulsory for you to have a fire extinguisher in your private car. Number 24. Number 24. Number 24 says, the stopping distance is the distance the vehicle travels from seeing a danger until the vehicle stops. Seeing a danger until the vehicle, which means stopping distance is just the braking distance and the reaction distance together. So the stopping distance is the braking distance. Remember, braking distance is just from the moment I start to brake until the car stop. Reaction distance is from when I perceive, I see an obstacle and I react to it. Reacting is removing your leg from the tattoo to put it on top of brake. But pressing brake to stop the car is braking distance. So from the beginning, when you see the action distance to braking distance, it all together is called stopping distance. Number 29. Number 29. Number 29 says, the ABS anti-lock braking system permits you to keep the control of your steering. The purpose of it is to it permits you to keep the control, it makes you to dominate the vehicle, to control the vehicle. So I have uh, from Lara Chinodu number seven. Number seven. Number seven says. Number seven says. A motorcycle that reaches a speed of over 100 km per hour must have two rear mirror. Any motorcycle that can speed more than 100 km per hour must have left and right mirror. But if you cannot speed up to 100 km per hour, you only need one mirror, which is on the left. Number 13. Number 13 says says, does alcohol influence reaction distance? Is yes. Is yes, because it affects your reaction time. When it affects your reaction time, your reaction distance will be longer. So your time wasting will make you to cover more distance during reaction. Because when you are under the influence of alcohol, you will not be able to react better. 14. Number 14. Number 14 says, must trailer and semi-trailer have a technical inspection card? Yes, all trailer. They must have it because they have azul and they have tire. So there must be a technical inspection for them because they are talking about trailer and semi-trailer. But if a question in the exam is trickish and says light trailer, light trailer don't need, don't need any documents. Light trailer don't need documents. But trailer and semi-trailer, they are the bigger one that are more than 750 kg. So they need their own documents. I think I have number 28. Number 28. Good. 
Number 28. Number 28 says, all driver are obliged. The best answer here is not to cause danger or obstruct both, both others or other users. You don't obstruct. Every driver must respect others on the roadway. You shouldn't block road. You shouldn't. You have to help all the other road users in order to keep safety. So that is A. Number. Good, good, good. I think I answered everybody. Answered everybody. Mr. John, thank you for joining. So that is the questions. They they the test we did. We just did the likely question, those questions you filled in the class. That is just what I explained. I think I should try to explain those of our exam exam test, which we did last weekend. Which we did last weekend. And you posted on the class page. Let me try to, to teach some of them. The ones I can lay my hands on. Sorry. Think. Yeah, good. Good. Yeah. I have a question. I'm going to use them to explain so that when you have it in your on in your book in your on your phone. Now, they said, if you park on a hop hill slope, up hill slope, thank you for thumping up. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now, if you, if you please, uh, at the end of the class, you can comment on the, on the, Insta, on the Instagram page. You can help me to, you can comment. You can comment. comment. Now, if you park on the, on the hop hill slope, you are required up hill. When it's up hill, you are required to put Leave it on gear one because you are hopping so that the gear will hold the vehicle. Will hold the vehicle. So that is one, one, one of it. How dangerous are seat cover that are badly attached? When you have a bad seat cover on your vehicle or a seat cover that is just too smooth, what will happen is that you will have submarine effect. You will go under the seats. That is called submarine effect. Submarine effect. That's it. Submarine effect. Another question says, in the tunnel, how fast should a motorcycle drives leave the vehicle in front if it does not want to overtake? You have to leave at least 100 meters to each other. 100 meters, which are at least calculate to four seconds. 100 meters inside tunnel, you must leave at least 100 meters or four seconds. Another question is, which of these elements are always part of the tire scoring? That is the tread. The tread is part of the tire. And the tread is the canvas of the tire. When it wears, the tire is useless. Another question is, the agent swerve a yellow light, holding a back on yellow light. What does it indicate? It is forcing the driver to stop. When it's wavy, when it's holding it, it's forcing you to stop. Another question: A van double park. Can you make a stop to double Q, double stop? That is double stop, double stop. I like English word for double stop, but in exam you won't see double queuing. Nothing like double queen queen. You can only get double park or double stop or pull over. So that's the only word they use in the exam for this. Can you make a stop to load? Yes, you can double stop. You can double stop, but you can double park. Another question says, which of these costs can cause an imbalance on the wheel of the vehicle? When you have a dent on the rim, something happens to the rim and the rim is somehow bent. You will have, you will realize that the tire will not balance. The motor will be shaking. When you are driving, it will be balanced. If another question says, what does the ob oblique stripes area indicate? It indicates that driving is prohibited in that area. How many long distance lights must car have? Long distance they are talking about here is a long range. You must have two, two, two. 
must have two and they must be even they must be the same type two two the question another question says how many short range lights can a car is still two on both sides two two said so this tractor with maximum motorized mass of three four hundred kg maximum is it driving correctly on the hard shoulder yes any tractor which is special vehicle can they can drive on a hard shoulder that is transistable big enough if they are not more than three thousand five hundred in that question they are asking about three thousand four hundred on which road should you turn on the eye beam headlight that is a poor lit outside of town eye beam that is the main beam you don't use it in a built-up area you use it outside a built-up area is it mandatory to carry a fire extinguisher as a equipment for a car that is circulating in the private service is no it's no it's no driving below the minimum speed allow can this be a risk factor yes if you are going at a, a slow speed abnormal slow speed can also cause accidents for example you are driving on a motorway and the minimum speed of a motorway is 60. so if you are going less than 60 you can invite accidents on the roadway on a narrow section of road with a steppy slope without a priority sign which does not allow a passage of two vehicle. The vehicle that is circulating as priority, the vehicle ascending, ascending. Any vehicle ascending, climbing hill, as priority over the one coming down. Note that anyone ascending as the right over the person coming down. Coming down. At what time should the road lights be in a poor lit urban between sunset and sunrise sunset anything from the uh, from seven o'clock in the evening and sun rises anything seven a.m in the morning so between sunset that is from seven p.m to seven a.m in the morning is called night but if they say between sunrise to sunset means day so sunset to sunrise means night sunrise to sunset means day. Note that in exam. So I think no, those are the those are the tests we those are the tests. Those are the tests we 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 had. So, any other question generally? Any other question generally from anyone? Any other question generally? I was able to run those exam questions. Any other question generally? We've taken the for people that are joining. We've taken those uh, revision. The purpose of this class tonight is revision. And if you have any question or you want to call on video to uh, to ask question or you want to call on my number to have to ask question or you can type also on the on the on the live chat or if you have anything to advise the platform also you can call on video share experience on maybe you've been to exam and you experience something or you want or you want maybe you've been to exam and you you experience an error somewhere you can you can call in on the class and for us to to rob minds to know what are the areas which you have problems so i think i think it's 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 i i please sir uh, consider my request the one i sent on the whatsapp okay i'm going to consider it man i'm going to consider it man i will do i will do i'll do that approved so so what uh, so uh, please 
Oh, uh, if you have any other question, any other question generally, any other question generally from the house, if you have uh, the purpose of me coming on board is to like fine tune most of the things you study from Monday till weekend before we enter into another week so that things can. But I'm not happy when I call for video class and students are not here on time. That we have to wait 15 minutes and spend our time. We're supposed to come on board and finish what we need to go do and, and everybody go back to. I purposely put it this time, nine o'clock, because of people that will have maybe activities during the day or church program so that we can be able to woke up and, 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 and do something. And do something. I don't get tired when I'm trying to do what I'm paid for. I don't get tired for that. Mm -hmm. So my, I want you to achieve what you need to do. Any class you miss is very, very important. Nothing, 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 nothing is, nothing is just, nothing is just, is not, is something you have to understand. You can't just miss any class. You can't miss any class. You can't miss any class. So please. So any other question from anyone? Any other question? If there's no question, I think uh, we'll call it a day. So thank you very much for joining. Thank you for joining the class today. Really appreciate everyone. Thank you for joining the class. So we'll see in the classroom.